WWE 2K24 has arrived, and today we are kicking off my GM. Now, technically, I did start this on a live stream at midnight when this game dropped. However, malfunction with the stream. I'm not going to upload it. We're just going to start a completely new video, completely new my GM, and it's going to be sick. So let's not waste any time. Let's freaking get in to my GM on 2K24. Let's get into this draft. All right, first things first, who are we going to be? Now, I already know who I'm going to be. I know what we need to do. We are going to play as the man who will be inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. That is... Paul Heyman. And if we're going to be Paul Heyman, I mean, you know, you kind of, you can't pick WCW or NXT 2.0. No, you got to pick ECW. How do you not pick ECW? In my GM for the first time this year, the second I saw those graphics, that purple, oh my God, Chef's Kiss absolutely was picking ECW. And of course, ECW comes with the power card that is two times per season. You can block all opposing brands from using three Randomly selected champions in next week's show cannot be used on week 25, which I think is like the last week, but whatever. And then next question is, who is going to be the CPU? Should we have more than one CPU? So obviously, it'll be CPU here. So uh, we can do Woods and Breeze. We can do Bischoff. We can do Foley. We can do Theodore Long. Play a play a play. We could do William Regal. You know, let's mix things up. Let's have a little fun. Let's do William Regal, and he will uh, he will have the NXT brand. And then we'll do we'll do a three. Uh, we'll do a triple threat, if you will. We'll have, we'll have Theodore Long, and he will be running the uh, the Monday Night Raw brand or the Friday Night SmackDown brand. The Monday we'll do we'll go Friday Night SmackDown. It'll be SmackDown, NXT, ECW, but we ECW, of course, we're gonna be on top. All right, that'll be our GMs and our brand. We will start with a three million dollar opening budget. I don't think I need to touch anything else. So let's just get into the draft. All right, here we go. Season one draft rules. Each GM will start with a budget of three million. GMs will take turns drafting one after the other. Nine rounds after that becomes optional and recommendations, which we don't need recommendations because we know what we're doing. We're, we're right here, me and you, the viewer, we know what we're doing. But who's going to be our first pick? All right, so we are obviously first on the board here, and, you know, we need somebody, you know, a main event level talent. We are ECW, you know, I want to get some different talent. I want to build up some talent, you know, different than, you know, real life WWE, if you will. But we need somebody at the top of our brand a real face of the brand so uh there's already names in here like ron breaker i'm looking at of course ecw does not have a women's championship so don't really need to draft any women um brunson reed definitely thinking about him but who's going to be the top of our brand here a lot of names in here obviously not everybody is available at the start you know kevin owens kevin owens just feels gritty he feels hardcore he feels like he fits the vibe of ECW. So I feel like our number one pick has to be the prize fighter himself, Kevin Owens, come on down to ECW. NXT is going to draft Seth freaking Rollins, and SmackDown is going to draft Finn Balor. All right, so Kevin Owens is a baby face. So who's going to be our top heel to go against Kevin Owens right off the get go? Most likely for the world championship nakamura is a heel gunther is a heel you know logan paul i got a feeling would be pretty hated back in the day in the ecw arena so we'll keep our eye on logan paul i mean logan paul and kevin owens literally feuding in real life right now braun breaker's a heel and you know braun breaker i feel like's got that extreme attitude so we're going braun breaker at pick number two nxt is gonna pick up charlotte flair and smackdown it's gonna get bailey all right, so ECW, Kevin Owens, Braun Breaker. Who is going to come down at number three to the brand? Who's going to be Who's going to be a good TV champion? When, and we have tag team titles as well, so we got to keep that in mind. Tag team champions for the brand. Um, we could get Baron Corbin, you know, put the put the Wolf Dogs together. Keep that in mind. Dijak, I like for the brand. Uh, I like Bronson Reed. I like Br Bronson Reed's the TV champion. I feel like just feels right, you know. I feel like that's going to look good. So you know what? Pick number three, we're, to, we're coming on down, come on down. Big Brunson Reed, you're coming to the ECW franchise. All right, NXT got EO Sky, SmackDown got Julius Creed. I, I wish the CPU would pick a little bit more realistically, unless they pick Brutus Creed next, and I don't really see why, but hey, it's a CPU for you. But pick number four, we got two heels, one baby face so far. Who's gonna be maybe a good opposer? For Brunson Reed for the television title. Tag teams, like I said, we gotta keep that in mind. Let's go down to the bottom half of the uh 
the list of names here see who's hanging down here obviously again a lot not everybody on the draft pool immediately so uh, it's kind of a hard choice kind of a hard choice not gonna lie you know what we need some baby faces i'm gonna pick my guy cedric alexander i think him bronson reed they could make some magic in the ecw arena so come on down cedric alexander you're coming to extreme championship wrestling our truth going to nxt Shayna baszler going to smackdown all right now i got my eye on a couple of talents i think i know who i want next all right we are gonna pick up baron corbin for the possibility of singles matches of course but we could put him and braun breaker together wolf dogs little tag team i'm feeling that baron corbin coming to ecw let's see nxt is getting jinder mahal and jc jane looks to be heading to friday night smackdown interesting choices by the cpu all right we got five picks in plenty more to go again no real need uh, obviously they can still wrestle and feud but like i don't have a women's championship so like championships kind of a big deal on my gm so i really don't feel the need to be drafting any women unfortunately to the ecw brand so that does limit our options in this current draft pool you know down there in the recommendations it's recommending duke hudson which is not happening randy orton dexter loomis and die jack so do we want one of those guys do we want randy orton baby face we can put him in ko maybe oh well okay, they're both baby faces but uh as a fan favorite fighter randy orton would pair uh, particularly well against Baron Corbin and a rule breaker or it says a rule breaker bruiser if I can read you know Randy Orton a heel walking down a one night stand all those years ago but you know such a veteran later the fans have grown to respect him so he's coming back to ECW Randy Orton gonna be our top guy alongside Kevin Owens coming to ECW Logan Paul going to NXT Braun Strowman going to Friday Night Smackdown all right next up who's coming I believe what we got uh we have pick number seven coming up next a lot of heels on the board I feel like that are intriguing but I don't know die Jack I'm feeling I'm feeling die Jack of course we do have to keep free agency in mind as well we could sign some names out of there it doesn't have to be just from the draft pool immediately but we do need at least nine draft picks so we will get die jack coming to ecw all right nxt is gonna get brutus creed i believe smackdown got julius earlier so no creed brothers sticking together smackdown gets humberto carrillo all right just need a couple more names to bring to ecw so who are we gonna get who are we going to get i'm interested to see uh the trade situation in this uh my gm this year really interested to see how that plays out you know nathan frazier matches up with die jack uh, as a good pairing i like nathan frazier trying to bring some different guys so you know what screw it nathan frazier coming to ecw him and him and bronson reed you know that, that could be a good matching for the television championship we'll keep that in mind drew gulak going to smackdown Liv morgan going to nxt so let us make our ninth and then we can uh, possibly opt out of the draft and we can go look at free agency we will see but who's going to be possibly our last pick of this ecw draft you know dexter loomis evidently matching up with multiple people stylistic matchups on our brand so that, that could open up some good possibilities for us so you know what maybe we won't keep him the whole time not saying i'm some big dexter loomis fan but he might work out for us on the initial first week or so so you know what dexter loomis will be our ninth pick coming to ecw piper niven going to nxt and smackdown selects tony d'angelo all right and that is nine picks for the ecw brand so i feel like that's where we're gonna stop for now and then we'll go check out free agency when we get there the gm has finished their draft some big names picked and there you have just an absolutely beautiful ECW brand led by Paul Heyman with Corbin, Reed, Orton, Owens, Breaker, Dijak, Cedric, Frazier going to the moon. That thing is beautiful. That's the thumbnail of the video, most likely right there. All right, let's see how these other two brands end up. Tiffany Stratton going to NXT, Zoe Stark going to SmackDown. It is Natalia going to NXT. It is Veer Mahan going to smackdown these guys are still going they are going into the late rounds robert rude going to nxt cruz del toro going to smackdown and that looks like it's going to be it so there's nxt's lineup william regal with a very uh vast variety of talent for his draft smackdown is going to choose chelsea green and they are still going no no that's it okay teddy long thought he was going to keep going there 
Teddy Long with a even more interesting uh, group of characters over on Friday night. But I'm confident in ECW's abilities. I like our roster. All right, there's the season one draft. Obviously, we opted out way early, but let's go check out free agency. All right, first things first, we got Triple H, Theodore Long, and William Regal in our emails. Uh, don't even have to read this. I was born for this. I'm Paul Heyman. All right, you don't even need to. You don't even need to worry about it, Triple H. Uh, is Teddy Long just talking smack? William Regal also just talking smack. All right, we also need to select our champion. So, world heavyweight champion. Feel like it's got to be between KO and Orton. You know, Kevin Owens was our first draft pick, so I feel it's only right Kevin Owens receives the ECW World Championship. Tag Team Championships, you know, the only real team we bought. I mean, we only have nine people here, so we'll go Braun Breaker as well as bear oh wait whoops i didn't do it right braun breaker and baron corbin there we go and our television champion brunson reed was our third pick i believe so i feel like he's got to be the television champion so owens corbin and uh breaker and brunson reed your champions across the board in extreme championship wrestling ecw you have earned this power card from the basic power card superstar perk veto champ block an opposing brand from booking one of their champions uh the next week's show pretty cool all right let us go check out the talent scouts this year i believe i have to like search up uh guys can we just go to the top and see who is in here right now uh, let's see we got isla dawn drew mcintyre wait go back a little bit harder to navigate this year, I will say. And also didn't realize that I only had so many talent scouts. So that's, this is pretty much our options for the week. Um, nobody who I am looking to pick up. So that's going to do it for free agency, I guess. All right, our commissioner goal for this week is have at least one TLC match. That ain't going to be a problem. Let us go ahead and we will book a TLC match in our main event for the ECW World Championship, Championship Excuse me, between Kevin Owens and... Who is a heel? Who is a heel? Dijak would be our other heel that isn't currently already a champion. So you know what? We're going to go Kevin Owens and Dijak for the ECW Championship TLC match. Should be good. Obviously, I don't really think we're going to do Breaker and Corbin defending the belts this week because we really don't have any other teams. But uh, we'll, we'll see what else we're going to put together. Brunson Reed will go versus Randy Orton for the television championship. I think that'll be good. We will go Dexter Loomis versus both breaker and corbin are looking like good matches here so we'll go dexter versus breaker and then we'll go corbin versus uh we'll go cedric here and then we'll do a little advertising okay nathan frazier will get us a little money this week it's it's week one you know you got to keep it basic build some money Hopefully there's more talent in the, in the free agency or talent scouts, whatever the hell it is next week. And of course we do have some power cards at play here. So I feel like we should start off sending a real message. You know, I feel like we should do that. So we're going to veto a champion for, uh, it's going to be William Regal on NXT. One of his champions ain't getting booked this week. All right. And then I'm liking our show. Keep it a basic, keeping it good. Let's go ahead and see how we do. All right, but we'll kick things off with Baron Corbin and Cedric Alexander. We'll go ahead and simulate this, and the winner is going to be one half of the tag team champions, Baron Corbin. This is a one and a half star disappointing matchup, and I am not surprised because it is week one and popularities are low. Dexter Loomis and Braun Breaker. This is a good stylistic matchup, so hopefully it'll do us half decent braun breaker the other half of the tag team champions picks up a win and uh two-star mediocre match possibly starting a new rivalry between loomis and breaker maybe dexter loomis needs a tag team partner to take on the wolf dogs in the near future moving on after that bronson reed big bronson reed versus the viper randy orton television championship on the line the winner is going to be Bronson Reed retains the title in a three and a half star matchup. New rivalry started. Bronson Reed, big Bronson Reed. He is going to be big for us on ECW. And last but not least, TLC matchup for the ECW World Championship. Kevin Owens and Dijak. I think this is going to be good. This might outdo Bronson and Orton. Hold. Dijak wins the belt. Dijak wins the belt three and a half star great matchup week one we crown a new ECW world champion in the commissioner goal tables ladders and chairs matchup that this is a hot way to start I mean you know show kind of you know it really built from top to bottom I'd say got better along the way 
I think this is a good week one. I think this worked out for us. And then you got NXT's week one over here, looking like an absolute just, you know what, just, just a joke of a show. We are not sitting through the simulation for each and every matchup. And then we got SmackDown over here, main event with Humberto and Braun in a normal match for the Intercontinental Championship. Freaking put me to sleep Friday Night SmackDown. All right, nonetheless, let's see how we did not not too shabby not too shabby the opener was our worst uh which we expected mid card we tied with ecw or excuse me we tied with nxt we outdid them on the second mid card match and then we were second for main events somehow nxt's main event uh well okay charlotte eo sky that makes sense but uh are still pretty good dude all right i, I think what we got uh rivalries looking good not seeing uh, we had a poor opener that's that that's our little note that they're giving us but you know again expect it it's week one we gained some fans we made some money looks like everybody's talking good wait a minute hold on show notes here can't ecw give us a bit more variety where are the women we don't have a woman's title at phenomenal con chair to music get out get that guy out of here he's blocked mute him boring sellout promo by fraser tonight these guys don't want ecw to make any money this is why we got kicked off the air we did gain network special the fans that your show gains this week will increase by a large amount a uh, nice power card for the commissioner goal i believe also homecoming select a contracted superstar on your brand to become a permanent superstar for your brand only usable on unbooked superstars with contracts so that i can use on somebody i pick up from the talent scout free agency that is good to know and as expected we are bottom of the rankings this week but again we are building all right we are building ecw one step at a time all right we are three weeks away from hell in the cell we are in charlotte north carolina but first 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 thing we got some emails all right triple h corbin versus alexander wasn't the greatest fight part of the reason blah 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 William Regal, hey, what was that stunt you pulled? Bro, I, I vetoed one of your champions. You would do the same to me. Do I say you like that? Gotta get dirty if you wanna win? Or do I say it had to be done? You would have done the same in my position. Uh, I feel like Paul Heyman wants to get dirty. I feel like that's how ECW rolls. Oh, but William Regal telling us to watch our back. Maybe we might have shot ourselves in the foot. We'll see. Cedric Alexander, my friends and family have been waiting so long to see me compete live in Charlotte. Can't wait. Yeah, no problem, Cedric. You're going to be on the show. Don't worry about it. Kevin Owens, I'm not happy losing my strap last week as a former champion. I'm exacting my rematch clause. I want a championship rematch against Dijak, of course. Of course you're going to get that, Kevin Owens. We're building stories here. But first things first, we got to go to the talent scouts. All right, we have five talent scouts. Okay, so we'll, we'll we'll spend one. I'm trying to get used to this here. We'll spend one and search the established stars. Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov in here. I, I'm a big Dragunov guy. I'm a big Dragunov. Probably my, my, my current favorite wrestler in the world is the Ilya Dragunov. I feel like I got to bring him to the ECW brand. Five weeks? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's a good pickup. That is a good pickup. All right, who else is hanging out in here? LA Knight, JD McDonough, Ivar, <sighs> Mark Coffey. Nah. We got two two uh, talent scouts left. Let's let, let's search the icons. Cody Rhodes, Sheamus, Bray Wyatt. All right, I'm not necessarily feeling anybody we got in here. I'm trying to, again, have a different roster. I don't just want to be like, give me Cody and all the top guys and all the blah, 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 blah. When Roman shows up, I don't just want to be like, give me Roman Reigns. I want to I want to have a different roster. So we got uh, we got Ilya Dragunov. I think I'll stick with that for now. And I mean, it's a hell of a roster, if I say so myself. Only 10 guys, but looking pretty freaking stacked. All right, we do have 800,000 plus in our budget, so... Let's uh let's let's try to make a little bit more money list this week. We're gonna run the concert hall. And our commissioner goal for this week is do not book your most popular cruiserweight this week. Who is our most popular cruiserweight? That would be of course, it's Cedric Alexander. So I Cedric either doesn't get the wrestle in his hometown, or I don't get you see what I'm saying here? It, it, whatever I just said didn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. So we won't fulfill our commissioner goal if we book Cedric. But if we don't book Cedric, then he's going to be upset with us not performing in Charlotte. So I feel like we just got to book Cedric and cut our losses. All right, main event will be one-on-one, -on -one, Dijak and Kevin Owens. Title matchup will just go normal this time. Don't want to bang these guys up. So we'll just go a normal matchup this week. And you know what? We will go a tables matchup this week. Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin versus 
Dexter Loomis, and Ilya Dragunov. And you know what? Screw it. We're going to put the tag team championships on the line. Big matchup, big night, tag team titles are on the line. Next up on the show, we will continue with Bronson Reed and Randy Orton, non-title. And then uh, we're going to go Cedric and Nathan Frazier because that's all we got left. And just because I don't know how hot the match is going to be, we'll make it an Extreme Rules. It's ECW, baby. Why not? All right, let's go ahead and confirm our second week. Not going to get that commissioner goal, but it is what it is. All right, Extreme Rules match, Cedric Alexander versus Nathan Frazier. Will Cedric pick up the win in his hometown? He does in Charlotte, North Carolina. Unfortunately, he only gave me a one and a half star disappointing performance in Extreme Rules in your hometown. And this is what you do for me, Cedric. Brunson Reed, Randy Orton going to continue their feud non-title. This could be a, a qualifier. You know, Orton wins. Definitely could earn a match for the belt. And he does. And he does. So absolutely going to have to run this back again. And the title will need to be on the line. Three star. Good matchup there. Tag team title matchup. Baron Corbin, Braun Breaker taking on Dexter Loomis and Ilya Dragunov. Who is going to be victorious? It is still tag team champions Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin. Three star, good matchup. All right, I'm feeling it. And last but not least, we have Dijak versus Kevin Owens. This is Kevin Owens' rematch for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. And Kevin Owens wins back the title. Three-star good matchup. Advancing the rivalry from 0 to 1. Big stuff for ECW. And then we got NXT's abysmal show right here. Main evented by Logan Paul and Brutus Creed for the North American Championship. And SmackDown really loving that Braun Strowman-Humberto feud. Hot opening the show this week. Not main eventing. The women's tag titles are main eventing the show. And you know, they got Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark teaming up so at least there's a little bit of realism with the cpu all right let's see how we did so our opener still not that good but the rest of the show still pretty solid uh, the first mid card match we won second mid card match we were even with nxt and we were second in place uh for the main event when it comes to the star ratings this week so i see somebody here in the old show notes saying the ecw show picked the wrong fight for the first match, Reed and Orton should have been the opener. We'll keep that in mind. We need to start the show hotter. Kevin Owens, thanks for the title rematch and your new champion once again. Increase the Kevin Owens morale. We also got Braun Breaker in our emails. I'm clearly the best superstar at ECW, and I imagine the crowd might be getting bored of me of seeing me, if I can talk, win so easily every week. I need a bigger test, one that suits my superior skills. I want to go up against both Alexander and Ilya this week okay okay and i don't mean an attack i want a triple threat or a fatal four-way against them i'll make it happen all right so we need to do breaker cedric and drag it off in the same matchup not a tag either a triple threat or a fatal four-way at somebody else keep that in mind but first we gotta check the talent scouts always looking to add some great stars to our ecw roster <sighs> And certainly not some great stars available this week. I don't do these these created characters. You guys are going to notice. I don't, you know, Adrian Buck, Maya T. Kirk. None of these guys are coming to ECW. It does not float Paul Heyman's way. But you know who does flow Paul Heyman's way? Dirty. Dominic Mysterio is available. And I just feel like we're leaving money on the table. We'll sign up for four weeks. Dirty Dom, come on down. You're coming to ECW. You know, we do have two power cards for ECW Extreme Rules in here. Let's say block an opposing brand from using three randomly selected champions in next week's show. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that because uh, I want to. I, don't, I guess it just randomly goes to one of them, but who cares? So our commissioner goal this week is to rest our primary solo champions. I don't know if that includes... Uh, the television champion or if that's just the world champion but let's go ahead and book this so we will start uh in a hot way we'll start continuing the brunson reed randy orton feud for the ecw television championship that is what we'll do and it says commissioner gold meant so i assume it just means keep kevin owens off the show uh was that commissioner goal mid card matchup we will go a fatal four-way match this will be the match that we promised braun breaker cedric Breaker, Dragonoff, and the debuting. Or should we put Dexter in here? Nah, screw it. We're going the debuting. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Why freaking not? All right, we will go a little bit lacking in our main event if we do that. Honestly, you know what? All right, redo. We're going to put that fatal four way in the main event 
We're gonna make it a tables match because now it's the fatal four way. And then mid card matches, we'll go die jack. We're gonna rest Kevin Owens. We'll go die jack and Nathan Frazier. And then we'll go Corbin and Dexter. Because why not? And that's gonna take up everybody this week. So I, I wanna start utilizing the promos a little bit more, but obviously our roster isn't huge. So uh, for now, I just gotta work with what we got. Not super confident in these mid card matches, but I feel like the opener is gonna be stellar, and I feel like the main event should be pretty good too. And now I'm questioning if the if the opener is gonna be better than the main event. Screw it. You know what? We already booked it. We're just gonna leave it. All right, here we go. Week three, Houston, Texas, ECW, Bronson Reed, Randy Orton television championship is on the line they're one and one so far this is the rubber match which randy orton wins to become the new television champion three and a half star great matchup the rivalry grows corbin and dexter can't imagine this is going to be too hot of a match dexter loomis picks up the win two star mediocre performance then we got die jack and nathan frazier same thing goes don't expect this is going to be too hot of a matchup die jack does Pick up the win. Two and a half star okay match. Got to credit that to our former ECW champion, Jack, most likely. And then the main event, Fatal 4-Way Tables matchup. One half of the tag team champions, Braun Breaker versus Cedric Alexander versus Ilya Dragunov versus our newest signee, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. This is anybody's ball game, but it is going to the man who wanted the match to begin with, Braun Breaker. Unfortunately, two star mediocre match. Really should have switched those and had Reed and Orton in the main event. But what can you do? NXT absolutely selling house to house. Jinder versus R-Truth once in a lifetime. Theodore Long on SmackDown bringing the heavy hitters. Cruz Del Toro versus Veer Mahan. Freaking, I prayed for this day. All right, so instead of poor opener this week, we got poor finale, which uh, could have been expecting that. But at least our opener was hot. Besides that, pretty lackluster show. Even in the mid card and the main event was the worst of the three this week. So, uh... Better luck next week. All right, we got our commissioner goal done for this week, and we had a contract negotiation. Add four weeks to a contract duration. So I believe we can use that right now on Dragonoff or Dominic Mysterio. And you know what? Why we got it, that's exactly what we're going to do. I believe Dragonoff's contract are actually both three weeks away. Uh, We'll go... We'll give it to Dragonoff right now. Just because I like dragging off. I mean, I like both guys, but you know. Anybody we're looking to bring to the roster. I like Wesley. I could get down for uh, Wesley joining the roster. Let's see. Uh, what's he going for? 43000 You know, maybe a little three-week contract. You know, nothing too crazy. Feel him out. See if we get something good out of him. I'm feeling Wesley. You know what? We're going to sign him. I told you guys. We're getting different guys, and we're bringing them to the top. And I believe this is the go-home show to Hell in the Cell, so we got to make this good. We're in St. Louis. Randy Orton wants to wrestle, and our commissioner goal is to have one Falls Count Anywhere match this week. Definitely something we could do. And I'm thinking we go Randy Orton and Brunson Reed in a Falls Count Anywhere match this week. And we'll go non-title. We'll save the championship matchup for Hell in a Cell. But Orton and Reed's been a hot feud, so I feel like that just makes sense to main event this week. Let's uh let's get a little tag team match going here. We will go the Wolf Dogs, our tag team champions versus Cedric, Dragonoff, Dragonoff and Dexter. Yeah, I'll stick with Dragonoff and Dexter here. Uh, we'll go non-title as well. I'm you know I'm, I'm I like playing a little bit realistic, you know. So we're gonna save the title match for the pay per view. We'll go Dominic and Cedric. They got a feud coming out of the Fatal Four Way last week, and we'll go Wesley. And Nathan Fraser 101, which I'm sure isn't going to go too hot. However, I'm going to save some uh, some stamina here for Kevin Owens and Dijak. Have a little promo between them leading into their match at Hell in a Cell. And that'll be our go-home show to, uh, to Hell in a Cell this week. Nothing too crazy, but definitely building some storylines. So, Wesley making his ECW debut against the young Nathan Fraser should be a doozy. Nathan Fraser picks up the victory. One and a half star disappointing match. You know, that's unrealistic. You send Frazier and Wesley out there, they're going to tear it up in real life. All right, we got Kevin Owens and Dijak advancing their feud from a level 1 to 2. Going to play good into Hell in the Cell. Dominic and Cedric. Big win for Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Two-star mediocre match. What can you do? A little tag team matchup here. Non-title, of course. The challengers, Dragunov and Dexter, picked up the win. It was a two-star mediocre. However, I feel like if we put the championships on the line plus a stipulation at the pay-per-view... 
probably going to work out better. And then we got Falls Count Anywhere or in wrestling in St. Louis versus Bronson Reed. This is non-title, of course. And it is a win for the hometown man, Randy Orton. Four and a half star classic. Rivalry grows to a level three. Orton and Reed, the blow off at Hell in the Cell is going to be legendary. All right, so we got another poor opener this week. But you see feuds advancing. And obviously, Randy Orton and Brunson Reed just knocking the, the, the other main events out of the park. Doing ECW real good. Commissioner Goal accomplished. Sold out. Limited stock. Select an opposing brand. Double the price of their power cards in the shop next week. And I'll be using week 25. Good to know. I'm all about screwing over SmackDown and NXT. With Hell in the Cell coming up, maybe we're going to have to screw over one of those brands. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Speaking of getting screwed over, SmackDown, just a minute. Play applied. Remove all match bonuses and quality boost. Plus, set match XP gain to very low for all opposing brands next week's show. That's a lot of words there. But Teddy Long clearly trying to bring down ECW, and I won't have it. William Regal, power of the punch, selected opposing brand. What the hell is going on right now? Selected opposing brand. All superstars on their roster lose five popularity at the start of next week. Listen, you guys want to fight fire with fire. I'll fight. Triple H, we've just brought on a brand new physical trainer. He's worked with a ton of major sports. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, they have to say, you know, we're not, uh, we're not paying anybody to go take a bath no it's not happening i can't afford to lose anybody on my roster i'm gonna have to pass this week william regal you got me once but now i have my payback hope you know this means war because i'm coming for you i'm coming for you randy orton i don't mind pain but i don't want serious injuries if i take two weeks off randy two weeks off randy orton it's hell in the cell week this isn't good i'm gonna i'm gonna do good by randy orton i'm gonna tell him to get some rest you tell him to get some rest. If he, if this is the world title feud, I'd be a little bit more worried. But you know what? Kevin Owens and Dijak, they'll main event at Hell in a Cell. Randy Orton, we'll finish up your story when you come back. I just, you, it better be as hot as it was. Baron Corbin, Loomis cheated me in that last match. I want a uh, rematch in the next two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's check out our power cards here. You know, they, they tried to cheat us. We can cheat them as well. All right, first things first, why we have it. This homecoming card... We're going to use it on uh, on our most popular of our recent signees, that being Dominic Mysterio. Dominic, full-time with a ECW. We're going to use the Network Special this week. We're going to uh, boast our fans for Hell in the Cell. Special Counsel, just in case we do any promos, we're using it. What else we got here? Selected opposing brand, double the price of their power cards. Block all opposing brands from using three random selected champions. Cannot be used week 25. We are using that right here at hell in the cell because screw smackdown and screw nxt and i'm liking our roster right now man i'm really liking our roster we're not gonna be able to use orton at hell in the cell but we got some great talent to put on a great show but we are gonna save hell in the cell for the next my gm episode we are five weeks in 25 weeks in total ecw is going to the moon i'm gonna throw the discourse out to you guys let me know down below in the comments when, whenever somebody pops up in free agency, is there any names we should be looking for? Any names we should be trying to add to the ECW roster? Let me know. We will do ECW Hell in the Cell in the next My GM episode here on WWE 2K24. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I can feel something pulling us under.